how do you feel? We're in the Disney. No, I'm joking. We're in University Studios. Our favourite theme park I know. ever. Hi guys, we're at Universal Studios Hollywood today. It's a theme park we come back to every time we're in um, LA. And this is kind of the fourth or fifth time I think that I've been. So the first thing we're gonna do, the park's buzzing at the moment and it's really hot today. on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey and Shivam is really adamant that he's gonna do it he's really gung-ho he's raring to go because when we went in Orlando he went once and then after that he freaked himself out because obviously the floor moves just as you sit in the seats and then it take, kind of takes you up a bit um, but he loves 3D rides and 4D rides other than that so he's really up for it so we're gonna head on in there and then we're gonna um, check out the rest of the ride so Forbidden Journey first <laughs> initials SD yeah. in Hogsmeade and SD stands for Shivam Doll. <laughs> Shalini Doll and Suk Doll, but no Rosie Doll. If I find an RD, I'll be really happy. In the LA version of Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, you can almost say that you're in Orlando as well if you've already been there. Yeah, it does look very similar to the one it's in like Orlando. I know they're meant to be. Um, this is obviously the Hogwarts Express behind us and it doesn't have that um, the actual Hogwarts Express ride here like it does in Orlando from park to park. But the theming of it is exactly the same. It's just so nice to walk through and it just seems hard. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were in Orlando, yet it was in 2017. Yeah, so we're going to head to Forbidden Journey because this boy wants to ride that ride. There's the castle, guys. How does it compare? It looks exactly the same, obviously, as the Orlando one, but it's so impressive. I think the heat was so much more scorching in Orlando that we didn't actually stop for ages to look at the castle. Whereas here, it's, it's very hot, but it's not obviously Orlando heat. So we're able to kind of just stop and enjoy and drink it in and take in the sight. So it's still, um, still scorching. <laughs> it is hot, but it's just so impressive to see it. Look how strong this boy is. So he overcame his fear of going on it. Even though he's done it once before, he didn't do it again when we were in Orlando. And we did it two or three times. It's just because when you're walking in or it's something in a castle, it, like, it just freaks you out that second. You think you're going to go on it, but it, I was sat in the seat. Okay. He just did it. He just it, got man. on and he did it and he's ready for the mummy. Thank you. 
from I when I was seven and eight twelve, and then time before that, um, I was five, five. So I can do it now. So we've just done the mummy, and how did you feel conquering the big one? Come on, it was it was amazing, wasn't it? I thought it'd actually be more than that. Um, we're just about to do Transformers, which is over there. Can't wait, can you, to do Transformers? Because you really love that one in Orlando. I think he must have he must have done it like three or four times in Orlando. But he he didn't do the mummy in Orlando, and he was a bit frightened to do the mummy here as well. He just went on it, smashed it, conquered it. I was He's just been this time. no, you were no, as in you were a bit fearful of like trying it because you've never done it before. But he just smashed it, didn't you? Okay, let's bring on the Transformers then.
from the studio tour, just down there behind us. It takes you around all of the back lots, the sound stages. It takes you to actually working units, and obviously there are certain bits that you have to be quiet in. We were filming The Good Place, a show that Suk and I really love, and uh, we drove past where um, Kristen Bell and Ted Danson had parked up their cars, so they all have their uh, car parking spaces. And then they've still got some of the old stuff like um, Psycho and Jaws and kind of special effects there. The, when we came four years ago, they had Kong, and they still had that, and that was enjoyable. And what we didn't see four years ago, which is which was kind of a newer addition, was the Fast and Furious um, stuff that goes on. So it's a tour of actually working lots and working um, scenery and production units, but then you see a lot of um, kind of, they've got some fun stuff just for the tour as well. So it's kind of a ride and a tour in one, but it's really fun. It's, it's about an hour. So if you've just eaten, that's the perfect place to come um, and chill because you're just sitting in a tram um, being taken around for an hour. So it's a good way to digest your food and enjoy some of the kind of behind the scenes stuff too. conquered this mummy and the mummy as well so he's uh, he smashed every single ride in the park this time so he's up there now he can do any park anytime anytime he wants we are up there we've reached the top of the escalator yeah that was it top of the escalator and i almost fell but um now we're going back up to the top lot we're going to chill out there we're going to do the walking dead which we have not done before i've never seen it before and they're expanding it they're doing something behind it they're doing some construction uh, i don't know if they're making the, the walking dead bigger or they're putting in a different attraction new behind it yeah and there's a massive new land being built downstairs the back lot's going to be uh, the bottom lot's going to be about double the size when it's finished i, I don't know what it is yet uh, i've heard rumors but usually when something's being built rumors just go crazy but um yeah, we're heading up the top now and um Let's try out The Walking Dead. What was that did you say about? Oh my new Forbidden Journey again. Forbidden Journey again? Three times? Remember last time we did Simpsons um, like four times just us two and then in Islands of Adventure in Orlando we went on Spider-Man like three times. I know and before you were saying you don't want to go on it and then you smashed it completely and that's what you're doing today? What do you think about this, The Walking Dead? We've never done it before. Wow. 
Before I saw a gal, the only little smaller than ship crying, so I'm just like, I can do this. Ship, you gonna do this? Let's do it. Scary for me. Nothing scary for you, no more. Let's see those muscles then. Oh yes. Oh yes, totally buff. Back on Forbidden Journey for a third time because Shivan, Shivam wants to conquer it again. He said he's tried it, he's conquered it, and now he wants to beat it into the ground. And uh, this lad is conquering his fears. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Shiv? What are you doing behind me? First, um, for um, Forbidden Journey, first, um, I punched it in the face. Second, I beat it up. Now I'm going to kill it. That's, that's a bit harsh. It's a good ride. Okay, we're going on again, and this time he's gonna. Last time he only closed his eyes for about three seconds because there's one bit where he virtually turns you upside down. But this time he said he's the, the, that's the last bit he's gonna conquer. He's gonna keep his eyes open just for those three seconds. Let's see what he does when we get off. Here we go again, then. Again, again. Again, again. Shalu? Again, again, again. again, again. Looking forward to it again. leaving the park now it's been an amazing day we have, we left right at the end closed all the rides for him and now it's off to get some more food and uh, have a good night's sleep because our feet are aching and it's gonna be breezy but um, all in all it's been a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow or the day after we might sleep in tomorrow so ciao Oh,